and we back. Yes, sir, here for game two of our double header. Uh, back to back to back for the Eagles as well here in the Eagles Nest at IVCC Gymnasium. Mason Lucas, your stats man and play by play commentator. Well, I'm stats this game, actually. All right, no, I'll be stats. It's cool. You want to be stats? I'll be cool. Yeah, it's cool. It's no big deal. Okay. I'll be stats. Uh, color commentator Scott McManus. Gary Tulsi taking over the camera job because Scott got tired. That's, 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 what, we're, that's what we're going with. I was going to make it easier on you, but you're like, I'm getting my own stats. Yeah. Hey, well, let's be honest. Who was better at stats? Me. Okay. Gary, Gary, you don't shake your head over there. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, the Eagles taking on Brian and Stratton Bobcats. This Bobcats team, extremely good. 21-7 yep. on the season. 13-5 and five on the road. Winners of eight straight games, and man, can they they score 84.3 points per game on 45% shooting from the field, 37% from the three-point line on 16 assists per game. Four scores in double digits, and with uh, YT out as yeah, well as Khalil well, Bryant. Kind of a shock for us. Yeah. We, we don't know what going on with IT. Well, I mean, IT. technically we do, but we, we can't say. Well, I, I, I mean, mean, even that's kind of iffy, though. though. Yeah. So, um, not really sure what's going on with IT. Maybe the better statement. But uh, it's going to be a tough one. one. Yeah, yeah. With, with, without your two best perimeter defenders. Yep. You know, uh, against a great offensive team. It'll be interesting to see how the Eagles come out and try to play this one. Uh, we would have a little bit updated stats for you on the Eagles, but uh, they weren't updated. Well, I checked let's, I just say, let's just say YT's the second leading scorer behind, of course, Joel LaShawn's. Yep, and then Colby's um, right behind. I mean, YT, 14.6 points per game. Yeah, that, is, that was... That that's was, the non-updated one, but... Yeah, and then 15, I think it was, what, 15 point something for Joe? 15.4. 15.4, and then Colby was right behind him with, like, 13.4. But, like, I mean, this is an Eagles team that lost a heartbreaker last night to... Blackhawk, mm -hmm. but that is a three point loss. But once again, Pat Wynn's gonna take the call for us. Yeah, Pat, do your thing, my friend. And we'll be right back. Game officials and each other before, during, and after today's game. Persons throwing objects or participating in any other acts in conflict with good sportsmanship, safety, and fair play are subject to ejection and prosecution. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the campus of Illinois Valley Community College for tonight's basketball contest. Between our guests on the scoreboard, the Bryant and Stratton College Bobcats and your IVCC Eagles. Before we meet the starting lineups, we ask that everyone please rise. Gentlemen, remove your caps. Face the colors of our flag for the playing of our national anthem. Now, let's meet the starting lineups first for the visiting Bombcats. They entered tonight's contest with a record of 21 wins and 7 losses. At one guard, a 5 foot 10 inch freshman from Vincent High School, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, number 3, Justin Bruckens. At forward, a 6 8 freshman from Pablo Nuerla, Venezuela, number 5, Jose Sosa. 
At guard, a six foot five inch freshman from Gail Eddick, Temple Low, Galesville, Wisconsin, number 12, Chris Thompson. At guard, a six foot one inch freshman from Forest Lake High School, Roseville, Minnesota, number 20, Manny Jinko. And at forward, a six foot three inch sophomore from Friendship High School, Adams, Wisconsin, number 30, Joe Duty. The head coach of the Bobcats is Mr. Matt Matterzak. And now to starting on out for your Illinois Valley Community College Eagles. They enter tonight's contest with a record of nine wins and 16 losses. And a forward slot, a 6'3 freshman from Princeton High School. Princeton, Illinois, number 10, Kobe Robbins. At guard, a 6-foot sophomore from Mendota High School. Mendota, Illinois, number 20, Joe LaChance. At forward, a 6-foot 4-inch freshman from Decatur MacArthur High School. Decatur, Illinois, the 24, Christian Walker. At guard, a six foot three inch freshman from Hauser High School, Hope, Indiana. Number 33, Connor Wilson. And at forward, a six six freshman from DePew High School, DePew, Illinois, number 50. Raheem Mackey Strong. Head coach for the Eagles, Mr. Chris Herman in his fifth year at IBCC. Assisted by Mr. Josh Norman in his second year at IBCC. And we are back. Once again, a little bit of light still out. Looks a little dim in here. I don't like it. No, I'm joking. Uh, as the Eagles five in case you missed it Colby Robbins Joe LaChance Christian Walker Connor Wilson and Raheem McKee Strong with no YT in the lineup for the Bobcats it's Justin Brookins who averages 21 points per game Jose Sosa from Venezuela Chris Thompson Manny Jinko and Joe Duty as the Eagles win the tip and we are underway be interesting to see how the Eagles would like to attack as Robbins probing the defense, guarded by the long and lengthy Jose Sosa, 6'8", freshman forward. From Venezuela, I think they said. Yes. Um, last night, once again, I was trying to say loser. Uh, IV lost by three. That was mainly because of rebounding. Yes. Just like we saw in the girls' game. So... Eagles can rebound in this game. I, I I feel like they can almost play with anybody. Yeah, this is. I mean, even though this uh, uh, Bobcats offense is high powered, so is the Eagles. And one thing neither of these teams do play great defense. It does not jump out at the stat sheet. It's great as, defense. Yeah, as I yeah. say that, there's great defense there. Robbins wide open for three. Let's it fly. Bangers. And that's bottom of the bucket. Colby Robbins with the triple. Like. Like we said in the newspaper, they said in the newspaper, YT and um, Joe say, we're not the team that our stats say we are. Mm -hmm. You know, That triple's launched by the 21 point per game score, Justin Brookins, and he gets a second chance. He won't miss that one. Brookins with his first points of the game and first points of the game for the Bro uh, Bobcats. 5-3 early, 130 into this first half. Walker loses the ball. That's the Eagles' first turnover, and that is Joe Duty with the finish. Currently averaging 12.9 points on the season, so he's a he's a scorer too. And uh, carry, yeah, double, double dribble. dribble. So back-to-back yeah. -back possessions with turnovers, not good for the Eagles. Five all, just over two minutes in to the first half. Uh, you know, Scott, we. Uh, We've been a little critical. We were a little critical of the girls, but we thought that that was easily a game they could win. It was just yeah. turnovers and offensive rebounds. Yesterday it was the same for the men, as a good pass by Brookins, a better 
defensive stand by the Eagles as great play by Christian Wil Walker. Well, yeah. Wilson there on the help, and then yep. Christian Walker ties it up from behind. So it's going to stay uh, Bobcat ball, but Eagles will get it back on the next jump ball. Um, but uh, Brookins trying to probe. He's going to hit the 6 8 Venezuela forward. Jose Sosa, no good on the triple. And the Eagles look to get this possession clean. We were a little critical on the men last night, too, and uh, mm -hmm. we, we just felt like those are both the, both those games, they were both winnable as Robbins taking it strong to the rack and finishing. That's the athletic ability right there by Robbins. Great pump fake, got the guy up in the air, and he, uh, got the athletic layup. So he has five of the seven as Brookins looks to get right back. He gives it off to number 20, Manny Jinko. The triple, no good. Nice rebound by Raheem. By Thompson. Not related to Clay, I'm guessing. Wilson, a shooter, sidestep three, reload triple, no good. Ari, a much better start of the game than they had last night. Brookins looking to probe. Pick and roll, cut off nicely. Three point attempt, hits the top of the shot clock. It's not horse, so it's going to be out of bounds. No, I don't know if you did mention this. I'm pretty sure that you did 36% on the season for three-pointers, so you're going to see a lot of threes this uh, game. They average about 30, 19 per 19 game. 19 per game. Yep. Turnover no, by the Eagles. That was free throws. They actually averaged 31 per game. Oh, wow. Oof. Yeah. It's so, a lot. Yep, they will be taking threes for days. Yeah. Uh, as Jinko did miss the last three. It was a turnover by the Eagles. We didn't see who, but we don't keep track of player turnovers. Only team. Sosa going to try to work on Raheem. Good defense by Raheem. Forces the miss. Oh, oh and they got it. Oh, 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 whoa. Okay. Um, I kind of thought that went off on Sosa. So did I. Shot clock looking like it needs to be reset. Maybe not. They're not. No, good. they're not moving it. So. All right, life goes on. Uh, we do not judge here at the Eagles Nest. Only right, yeah, sometimes. Uh, Brookins with the triple. That is a quick six for him. He's also he's shooting ninety percent for free, free throw. throw line. Wow, yep. that's really good. I know that in the stats. He plays great defense there and forces a foul. And then I'm pretty sure that was Joe with the foul as well, or forces the turnover. And I'm pretty sure that was Joe with the foul. Just a silly foul there. Yep. And he knows it. So turnover is the issue for the Eagles. We're at four with four minutes taken off the first half clock. Just going to have to slow this game down a little bit. Brookins pull up jumper. Good defense from Raheem, but 21 point per game score. We're going to keep saying it. He's, he's good. Yep. He's, uh, as you like to point out, a walking bucket. Ah, Step back yeah. jumper from Colby. Looked I, good. I do go. like that saying. Walking bucket. That's that's one of my favorites. Go to. Jinko. Handing it off to Thompson. Back to Brookins. We're going to be saying his name a lot. Looking to work. Jinko. Crab dribble. De Sosa. Wide open. Now number 30, Joe Duty taking it for three. Great no defense good. there by Colby Robbins. Yeah, making sure you're going to contest there. Excellent, excellent uh, defensive possession. Him thinking about it. Well, like oh, well, well defended. Spacing just yeah. isn't good right now. They're gonna let Raheem patient. Nice fade move. away, and a great bucket by Raheem McKee Strong. Yeah, that was a really good move. Have a little Dirk fade. Brookins with the behind the back, try to step back for uh, separation. Didn't get it. Duty trying to work. On Robbins, a great pass gets Sosa the bucket. Just better offense right there. Yeah, Not yeah. bad defense. Better offense. Well, Mark Jackson's favorite saying, great offense beats great defense any day of the week. Yeah. Walker with a good back screen. Wilson, go oh, getting called for the offensive foul. That's pretty Chris bad. Herman taking the glasses off. Like, are you kidding me? That's bad. Wow. Well, hopefully this isn't a sign for what happened last night. Oh. Well, let's okay. just not talk about that. Yeah. Get me triggered. Uh, checking in for the game, Mikel Cooper. 
from Bradley Tech High School in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Freshman guard, 6'1". Good nice dump off pass to Sosa, who finishes it. So Sosa with back-to-back -back buckets. Oh, no. And then the turnover duty with an opportunity. Oh, He's fouled. That's, that's going to be Joe's second. <sighs> yeah. So Joe's second. N yeah. Uh, with YT out, definitely don't want your guards in foul trouble. No. Because uh, your only guard on that bench is Joel Pantoja. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which, I mean, not bad, but. Right. Uh, Kyle McDermott checking also checked into the game, 6'3", sophomore guard from Don Bosco High School. Another cool name. I like that. I'm just going to Rova. Like, hey, Rova's still the GOAT. So he hits one of two, does Joe duty, and that's a 15-9 to nine lead. Buckets. Three. Three. You can't. You can't. Three from Raheem. You can't leave Raheem that wide open. Great. Great call by Coach Chris Herman to go to a 2-3 zone just so you don't get uh, Joe with that third foul. Three by Brookins. No good. Nice job. Nice rebound. Joe. Into the middle of the paint. Ah, No good. Good effort. No. Oh, that's his third. Nothing you can, nothing you can do there. If you're Chris Herman, he's gonna be, he's gonna be uh, having to sub in Joel. That's just a bad call. Man, well, that's that's tough. That is tough. Mhm. Mm but replace one shooter with another shooter. Fifteen to twelve. Good swing. Ooh, Raheem definitely fouled him. And uh, that's going to be a four-point opportunity for Joe Duty, who's got a chance for a four-point play. 18 to 12. 18 to 12, yeah. yeah. It's good. And it looks like they're going to drop into a... Oh, God, I can't even tell this press right now. Wide open, Connor Wilson. Short. Short, read it out his hands like Tony Romo. What? <laughs> they called me the Tony Romo of basketball. Brookins, get in baseline. Dropping it off. McDermott, try to drop it off for Sosa. Great hands by Strong. And he was going to look... They calling that a foul? No. Nope. Okay. Just, the ref didn't point, so I was very confused. I heard him say the other team wanted uh -huh. it going the other way, and he said no. Oh, okay. So, All right. Guy get it in. There you go. That gets it in too strong. Who is a deadly shooter at times. He can shoot yeah, the ball. He's shown great touch on his jumper. Yeah. Wilson driving hard to the left. Nice little right hand. Yeah, I tried to with the inside hand finish, just didn't go. Brookins probing the defense. Got away with the travel. Good defense by Robbins as Cooper tried to pass it off. Gets a hand on it. It's going to stay Bobcats ball. 19 to 12. 12 minutes left in this first half. My former teammate checking in. A LaSalle Peru alum. All of, well, not Gary, but me, Gary, Jerry. are you a LaSalle Peru alum? No. Nope, uh, nope. He shook his head immediately. <laughs> Brookins, back to McDermott. Uh, Cooper, going to let fly. Nice looking stroke from the lefty. That is a good looking stroke. Yeah. Nice looking stroke from the lefty. Just didn't fall. 19 to 12, just under 12 minutes left in this first half. Robbins, handing it off to Joe Bantoa. That three looked off from his hands, off right. Yeah. Might that's, have rushed it a little bit. That's what you kind of get from Joel. He's either hot or he he's not. But he only needs a couple to get going. Oh, don't don't know if that was right out of what he wanted, but 
board. Oh, good. John Seneca. Seneca with the rebound and the putback. John Seneca with his first bucket of the night for number 35. 19-14. Brookins with the pump fake. Sidestep reload, no good. Pantoa bringing the ball up the floor. Mitchell Vickers and Ty Smith set the check into the game. Nope, Connor Wilson. Wal or, ooh, Connor Wilson, my fault. Uh, Colby with the offensive rebound. Nice and play. Finish. Time out. Yeah. Momentum. Coach Matt. Yeah, I'm not going to try to say that last name. I haven't even looked at it. Uh, uh, it's just not going to happen, buddy. Ooh. Yeah, it's yeah, a, we're just gonna it's, it's a full it. timeout, but Coach Matt from the Bobcats. We'll call him Coach, <laughs> Coach M. Coach, Coach M. M from the Bobcats taking a full timeout. Uh, 16 to 19, 10.54 left in the first period. We'll be right back. And we back. And we back. All right, Ty Smith checked into the game as well as Connor Wilson. Three by just checking into the game. Number 20. Or, no, he's already been in the game. That's uh, Manny Jinko. 12 he, point. Che he checked right back into the game and hit it. So 12.6 points on the season, 40% shooter. So he's his, also shooting. Yes, his first three of the night was good. Smith off to Pantoa. Pantoa looking for an opening. Finds Walker. Walker trying to create some space and was tripped. Hopefully he gets up. And he gets up fine. The five for the Eagles. It's going to be Pantoja, Connor Wilson, Tyus Smith, John Seneca, and Christian Walker for the Bobcats. Uh, it is Cooper. And that might be a Yeah, that's a turnover. I have no turnovers for the Bobcats. Okay. That sounds correct. I don't remember. Yeah, they've been keeping, a, they've keeping been, track of the ball pretty yeah. well. So it's Cooper. It is uh, Schneider, McDermott, uh, Dermid, Thompson, and I feel like I'm missing someone. Am I missing anybody? Do not know. I think that is it. He traveled. Oh, and Jinko, which is blocked. His jumper was blocked by Walker. Good help. So, remembered him after he got blocked. Maybe not the best time to remember him. But Wilson driving. Drops off to Smith. And a foul called on McDermott. Nice ball movement by the Bobcat, Bobcats at the other end. Mm -hmm. So, checking back into the game. Justin Brookins. As Coach M from the Bobcats. Coach M, yeah. Uh, We're, we just don't want to insult Tony Buggy because yeah, we try we try to pronounce names correctly. We didn't hear Pat jo Whalen at first. Joel step back, no good, well defended. Schneider with the rebound, and the Bobcats are off. McDermott, beautiful looking left-handed yep. stroke, no good though. We've seen a couple good looking lefty strokes. Uh, yep. Jacob Pauly last night. Joel, not afraid to let it fly. That oh. one, wow, in and out. Man. Cooper, well defended by Seneca. Brookins, looking to probe. Skip pass. That's Schneider for three. Good board by Christian Walker. Nice and strong the, rebound, yeah. And the Eagles are running. Wilson to Seneca. Seneca. Looking for the dribble handoff. Gets it. Well defended. I, Walker with the hook. Just a little long. Smith with the rebound. Should have went right up with it. Instead, he dropped it off for Walker. Walker didn't get it to go. 
That is Colby Robbins and Raheem McKee Strong at the check-in desk. Brookins, beautiful pass, oh extra my. passing. That is a three. Schneider couldn't get it to fall. Can I get some oxygen? Wow. <laughs> yeah, no, that's great, great ball movement. What I've been yeah. saying the whole game is the pace is picking up a little bit. Smith gonna go with a turnaround. No good. Schneider with the rebound. McDermott to Brookins. Sorry for not letting you get a word, and it's been going a little fast. You're, you're good. You're good. 22-16, uh, legal Eagles trail by six with just eight Kick. minutes left. Playing soccer. Yes, sir. We're always playing soccer. All here right, this is your place. oxygen. I got you. Okay. Checking into the for the Eagles is number ten, Colby Robbins. Number fifty, Raheem Strong. Checking in for the Bobcats is number thirty, Dooley, and number five, Sosa. Hey, that a boy. Look at you using that play-by-play -play experience. Cooper didn't want it. They're swinging it well. Brookins wide open for three. That's yeah, Bobcats. Yeah. <laughs> that, that is his tenth point Already? of the half. Yes, oh sir. My. Two threes and two twos. He's averaging 42 percent from three. That's well, well defended and forcing the turnover. That is the Eagles' seventh. Wow, don't know what that I just wrote there. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pretend like that didn't happen. All right, Bobcats, looking to probe. Uh, instead, He's Brookins. Took yeah. out his do-it-yourself kit. Didn't go on the three. Up ahead to Robbins. Colby. Nice strong take. Strong take, but it looked like it was defended well by Schneider. Brookins to Duty. The left hand. Pretty. Huh. Joe Duty with, let's see here. He's got 10 himself. So two players with 10 of the 27 timeout. And Coach Chris Herman taking 30. Yeah, 30. All right, so it's the 32nd. So, buddy, what have you uh, seen that you have not liked? I mean, I really can't say that I haven't seen stuff that I hate from IV. This team's good. Yes, offensively um, they're strong. The, the passes that they're making mm -hmm. is just outrageous. That yeah, extra swing, pass. They, they, they just, swing the ball well. They just look on like they're at another level right now almost. Uh, they swing the ball extremely well. I agree completely. For the Eagles, the turnover is the differential right now. I mean, honestly, seven with 13 minutes passed isn't too bad. It's just the fact the Bobcats, to our knowledge, have none. So, unless we missed one. So, uh, turnover is a little bit of a difference. And we noted in the pregame, this offense high-powered, and they're mm -hmm. kind of showing it. So, it's only an 11-point game, though. 27-16, uh, 7-13 left in the first half. Robbins looking to go to work. Pass it off to Seneca. Tyus on the left wing. He's attacking middle. Throws it back out to Wilson. They're going to look to Robbins. Under 10 seconds left. Smith. Someone's got to go to work. Five seconds. Four. Three. Crossover. Three. Oh. oh. Looked good. Well, Just a really little short. Good. good move by Raheem. Oh, drop off pass. That is number 20. Wow. Manny Jinko for the three. That's a beautiful pass. Beautiful pass. That's his sixth point. Colby, deep three. Missed it. Short. Sosa. Jose Sosa with the board. Throw ahead. Cooper for three. Land and fly. Long. Very long. 14 point game. Four passes is what Coach Chris Herman's saying. He's not happy with the with the defense so far. And Raheem. not get Raheem. Raheem might not get four passes here. And Brookins able to get a jump ball. That's going to swing the possession arrow right back to the Bobcats. Still a 14-point game, 6-10 left in this first half. Uh, definitely definitely not out of reach. It's just getting some stops and getting some good shots. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Raheem going to, looking to go to work. The Robbins, two players in the same area, well defended by Cooper. And... Make it six seconds left on the clock. Six minutes left in this half. 14-point game still. Wilson hands it off to Robbins. Four, three, Colby lost it, and a charge. And that, uh, that's tough. That's tough. He no, lost the ball. I want to watch this again because it almost looked like he was in the restricted, restricted zone. Okay. What do you see? Uh, it's still behind. Duty looking to pass out. Finds Cooper who finds Brookins. 
They're going to look at Sosa. Sosa with the lob. And the, f ooh, good help defense by Raheem. Oh. Forces the miss. Up ahead to Wilson. Wilson with the crossover in the middle. Fouled. No shot. So what I saw was it should have been a block. He was moving. He okay. was outside the restriction zone, but he, it looked like he was moving. Checking into the game, number 23, Kyle McDermott. Dermid, not Der, uh, Dermid. Dermid, like so Dougie? not Dougie McBuckets. Uh, the Eagles look a little confused on how they want to run this offensive play. They do get it in to Robbins. Robbins letting it fly for three. A little short. McDermott with the rebound. He's bringing the ball up the floor. He has a beautiful stroke with his left hand. Drives it this time hard to his left and finishes right into the paint with no resistance, honestly. And that is his first bucket of the game. Good skip pass to John. John not looking to shoot it though. Back out to Raheem. Raheem. Back out to, and they're swinging it back to each other, playing a quick game of catch. Stagnant offense again. Yep. Colby drives hard, was stripped. It's gonna stay Eagles ball. Four seconds left. Who you getting it to? Uh, Raheem. Christian Walker checking back into the game. He's gonna get. He's, he's gonna get Colby. Gonna give Colby a quick rest. So the five on the floor: Connor Wilson, John Seneca, Tyus Smith, uh, Christian Walker, and Raheem McKee Strong. This almost feels like an old school lineup. Yeah. Uh, Walker, no good on the jumper. Not a lot of shooting outside of Connor Wilson. Brookins working on the bigger man, kicks it out to Jinko. Pull up jumper. It's pure. And just like that, it's an 18 point game 34 16. Press is still up. This is the one advantage, though, with Raheem. He is a good ball handler. So he is a very good ball handler. So you can keep him up. Throw ahead to Raheem. Raheem not looking for the jumper. He's going to drive. Takes it with the left. Oh, wow. In and out. Joey so or Jose, Jose Sosa with that 6'8 frame grabbing the rebound. McDermott with the beautiful pocket pass. Sosa with the soft touch. Timeout, Coach Chris Herman. So, full timeout. Full timeout. So, 20 point game, 36 16. Just under four minutes left in the first half. We'll be right back. All right, 20 point ball game. Uh, 356 left in the first half, 36 16. Uh, it, it's just been a tough one for the Eagles. Yeah, right good team. Very good offensive powerhouse. Wilson was dealt fouled. Um, Wilson has to be a little bit smarter there. Don't put the ball over your head. Yeah, that, would, uh, that one was questionable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that one is very concerning. Eagles got to get it in. They get it to Walker, who gets ahead to Seneca. Seneca looking to attack. And he was on the line. That's a turnover. If my turnover count is correct, that is nine for the game, which I feel like it is. Haven't yeah. missed a couple buckets, but the turnovers have been clean for the most part this, this game. Brookins looking to probe the defense. They're going to get inside to Sosa. Let that 6-8 frame go to work. Who, beautiful skip pass. Just a little low and Jinko couldn't handle it. So, they'll have to reset. Good screen. 
beautiful pass. Nice but a better block. block by Christian Walker, and that's going to be a shot clock violation off the beautiful rotation and help from Walker. That was a nice play. Beautiful defensive play by Walker. So it is a 1-2-1-1 one, one, one press. Okay. And they're almost baiting them to the middle, it looked like to me. Walker is trapped, nice. but using that 6 4 frame to skip it ahead. Connor Wilson for three. That's pure. That was deep. That was very deep. Connor Wilson with his first bucket of the ball game. And it's a three it's of the three point variety. Step back by Brookins. Kicks it out. Joe Duty. The beautiful pass. And Walker rotated a little late. Jose Sosa. The beneficiary of the basket. He has eight points on the game, if my math is correct. Checking into the game. Number 12, Chris Thompson. No relation to Clay Thompson that we know of. We all know that. Sosa, beautiful looking free throw stroke, and it's good. So make it nine for Sosa unofficially. Got to Walker to the middle. Pantoja going to let it fly from three. That's, That's good. So the Eagles starting to f catch flame a little bit. Yep. I was going to say row. flame on, but that was a fantastic four reference, and I didn't know if I wanted to go there. Okay. Brookins. Well defended, but it gets it out. That is Chris Thompson. Maybe not related to Clay. Uh, no. What are you? Not after that shot. Oh, Joel Bunch. Line to fly. Ooh. Ooh, good tip out from Christian Walker. <laughs> and the threes are falling now. Connor Wilson. And just like that, 14-point ball game again. 39, 25, 155 less left in the first half. Joe Duty looking to get something going. That's Brookins. They're going to get him going somewhere. He's got to switch, see if he wants to attack. Pull up jumper, tough one. Short ah, rebound rebounding. by Jinko. No good. Good defense using the frame. Look ahead pass. One more. Joel wide open. He's going to want it. Missed it. Christian Walker doing work on the offensive boards. Just couldn't get it as Brookins tipped it away. And Brookins with the finish. Unofficially has 12. May have more. Actually, no, he has 10. May have more. Missed a couple buckets during the fast paced scrim. Wilson gets it to Raheem. Raheem, yeah. Raheem for three. No good. Rebound oh, and the leak back. ahead. Raheem chasing him down. And oh. one. So now has 12 with a chance to make it 13. 43 to 25 in favor of the Bobcats. Just under one minute left in the first half. Couple updates for you, LP. Currently down five against Sycamore, 50 to 45, mm -hmm. heading into the fourth quarter. If I were to check the score of the Ottawa game. Shoot. And we have a lane violation, so that free throw will not count. Wow. Jose Sosa getting screamed at. By Coach M. Nice floater. floater. No, oh. Robbins skied for the offensive rebound. Oh, great. Got the timeout. Good hustle by Raheem to get on the floor. And it's going to be a 30 second timeout. I was up 40 to 27 after three. 40 to 27 after three. Oh, oh was it an F bomb? They caught it. They caught, caught it. Coach M. Not liking the yeah, lane I thought violation. I, heard that too. I thought I heard it too, but I didn't so, want to say it. Mason, oh. I told you before this game that we were going to bring this up. So I'm going to give you the participants first for the three point contest okay. on Saturday, I believe, correct? Yes. Should be on Saturday. So I want to just know who your winner is. You got Devin Booker, Seth Curry, Steph Curry, Danny Green, Joe Harris, Buddy Heald, Dame Lillard, Chris Middleton, Kemba, and Dirk. 
Uh, I'm uh, it, I'm going with one of the Curry brothers in Charlotte. Which Char one you have to pick? I, I, I'm going to go with Steph because Steph is the better shooter. But. You know, I'm going to go with a guy that you might not fi think Joe I'm going to go with. I was going to say Joe Harris is a good one. He's another sleeper. I'm going to say Dirk. Really? Okay. Yeah. I just have a Kobe. feeling. Getting right into the lane. Did not get it to fall. Does get the offensive rebound and the second chance. He'll go to the line for two. Um, yeah, no, I, Dirk is, a, I mean, just because it could be his last time ever doing this. Yeah. I just had that feeling, uh, but he does have a slow release. But Joe Harris, good pick, too. Yeah. I'm going to go with Steph, but if I had to pick one guy who I think would win it outside of the Curry brothers, I'm going with uh, Joe. Okay. Joe good Harris. Pick. I'll stay, save the dunk contest for uh, next half at some point. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, so Colby goes one of two from the free throw line. It's 26-43, Eagles trail. <laughs> Small hiccup. <laughs> We're down to 18 seconds left in the first half. Brookins waiting for Brookins waiting for the last shot. Going back into a 2-3 defense. Good pass, Fig. Man, Jinko to Joe Duty. Well defended, but the bucket is good either way. Joe Duty with a tough three. At the half, the Eagles trail 46 to 26. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back.
And we are back for the second half from the Eagles' nest. A tough first half for the Eagles as they trail 46 to 20 as we go into the second half. Uh, my name is Mason Lucas, your play-by-play -play commentator and stats man, 10 times better than Scott McManus was last night. Just saying. No, not even close. Oh, he, had like, he had like 10 mistakes that I fixed. Oh, oh, just oh, like, you know, I'm BS. throwing that out there. No, no, no. Toxic. No, no, no. Yo, you are, I am toxic. Wow, you're disgusting. Anyways. He wasn't going to say hey, that. He Gary, wasn't Gary say I don't know if he's showing up next Friday. I can't hear him. I don't know. I don't know if he's showing up next Friday. Hey, you can't do anything. This is your last game. Hey, I'm still co-president of this place. <laughs> no, I don't care. Once this is your last game, so that means Stein is taking over as oh, okay. as president. This is his last game next, next Friday. Friday. Okay, yeah, so whatever. He, he's president until next Friday. So it's 46-26. Eagles down by 20. Let's go through the scoring for our first half recap coming up. Shout out to Stein if he's listening. All right, we're gonna start with the Bobcats, who are led by Justin Brookins, who has 15 None points. other. Yeah, 21 points per game. Uh, way past half. So He's a stud. Yep. Uh, then followed by Joe Duty, who's having a great game. He has 12. Next is Jose Sosa, who I don't know if we're going to see the rest <sighs> He's of. back out there. Yeah, his but sweatshirt's not off, but him and his coach had a... No, sweatshirt's off. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. The okay. sweatshirt's back off, but he put it back his, on. His coach gave, screamed at him. He gave dropped him the a... Dropped a couple words in there that yeah. we cannot repeat on air. Gave him, gave him the business in a verbal exchange. I'm honestly shocked that he didn't get a T for it. Yeah, same. Because he did drop the F bomb. Like yep. This yep. But anyways, Jose Sosa has nine, followed by Manny Jinko with eight, and then Kyle McDermott, not McDermott, McDermott with two. For the Eagles, it's actually. Pretty well spread. Colby with eight, followed by Kyle Wilson with six, Raheem with five, uh, Christian Walker. Oh, I'm sorry. Show some love to Joe Pantoa with three, and then it's Christian Walker and John Seneca with two. Buddy down 20, stops and stops and buckets. That's yeah, it. I mean. This is a good offensive team. You need to get stops. And offensively, I think they've gotten a good amount of shots. Uh, good looks. Yeah. But uh, just haven't fell. So. It's just good looks and then at the other side, just better offense. I feel like they haven't even played that bad of defense. I feel like they've they played really well, really good defense. But it's what happens when a team's 21-7 as a kid airballs in front of us. That's kind of why I give a chuckle. Um, but, yeah, it's just – Nothing you can do. Well, and it doesn't help that Joe's in foul trouble. Yeah, Joe foul trouble. That was the big story early. Had to. Coach was gonna take him out. Decided not to. Decided not to. Then decide against it. I saw Chris Herman motioning for Joel. Right as Joe picked up that third, so maybe should have thought about pulling the trigger a tad bit sooner. Yeah. But uh, either way, Eagles down 20 to start this second half. Uh, the five for the Eagles. We won't know until we, we got a minute left. We started. We got a good. We got. We good got a bit little bit of time. Yeah, we got a good bit. Um, yeah. What do you want to bring up for the dunk contest? Okay, we'll bring that up now. Still got 50 seconds. Dunk contest contestants. I already know my pick. I think this is a obvious pick. Okay. Dennis Smith Jr. All right. Ma uh, Miles Bridges. Uh, Diallo. I don't know how to say his first name. Uh. Coach. Oh, Herman? The other one? So we got Diallo. We got, yeah, probably. Um, we got Diallo and John Collins. And then Dennis Smith and who else? Miles Bridges. <sighs> this one's easy. I don't even have to think. You going with Miles? I'm going with Miles. That's not even hard. Mitch uh, Zach? I like it. Sure. What? <laughs> Gary, you want to get on the mic and say that? Mitch or Gr Zach? Well, anyways, the ball, uh, Bobcats start with the ball. We are underway to start your second half. 20 minutes left to go for the Eagles to make a comeback. Let's see what they do here as they are in a... You're just going to leave me hanging like that. Uh, I'm going with DSJ as okay. jo Joe Duty with starting off our scoring to start the second half. To Joe. Good to see Joe back in there. 
Wilson find Colby in the corner. Pump fake. Going to take it to the rack. Hang. Doesn't get it to ah. hit. And then a fight for the rebound causes the Eagles to lose it. Bobcats coming the other way. Raheem and uh, Kobe kind of got tied up there and uh, just knocked the ball out. Duty feeling it. That's uh, five already. Up to 17. And he is living life right now. Ooh, oh, Raheem just couldn't get the foul. Oh, almost got the foul. Would have been a bad foul call 94 feet away from the basket. Yeah. Duty, wide open, thought about it, didn't want it, decides to script, skip it. Brookins, pull up jumper, liked just it. Nonchalant. Got it. That's a 7 0 run to start the, start the half. So. Give him 17, him and Duty, as Brookins draws the, or gets the foul. Joe. <laughs> I thought that was going I out. thought that was in too. High archer, no good. Uh, but uh, didn't matter. Foul call. 53 26. We are a minute 15 into this second half. Joe looking to probe the defense. Good hands by Sosa. Gets the seal. The 6 8 freshman forward from Venezuela starts the break. And that was ooh. a nice little reverse. Got away with a foul. Yeah, Walker got away with a foul. Colby, Colby pump faking, looking, looking for something. Raheem thought about the three, lost it, had to, has to set up. Good hands by Duty, a beautiful save. Oh my! Oh my goodness! And Brookins is gonna get an easy you gotta be bucket. Me. What a great play by Duty! Wow! Impressive. That's that's just. Colby oh. Robbins. Took it straight at Sosa. Sosa shaking his head. Don't try that. Okay, and but big let's, time also, rejection. let's also notice the height difference. Colby 6'3, that kid's 6'8. So even Colby getting up there as another turnover happens. Um, yeah. And the steal from number 20, Manny Jingo. Jinko. And now the foul, and the Eagles on the wrong end of a 9-0 run. Two minutes into this second uh. half. First one, good. This is a good ball club. It is very Probably, good. honestly, maybe the best we've seen all year. Mm, I'm pretty sure we saw a ranked team. I can't remember who. We did. We did. You are right. I forgot about them. Um, forgot who it was. They were ranked eighth, but that was also with our, with RJ. It was the first half. It yeah. was the first half uh, game. So we had a couple of extra guys on the team, but the three no good from Connor Wilson and the Eagles sputtering a little bit. Brookins with the hezzy. He's gonna drop it off. Spin and the win for number twelve, Chris Thompson. Pretty, wasn't it? That was beautiful. I love fundamental basketball right there. Yeah, they're going to get it to Walker. He's going to try to bully. Good defense by Thompson. Going to have to kick it out. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Raheem going to go to work. Do it yourself kick. Pull up jumper. Oh, in and out. Good. Joe Duty with the rebound. Leading the break. Semi transition. Hezzy. Kick out. Thompson. Back out. Duty for three. It's good! Joe Duty with his eighth point of this half early. Wow. 61 um. 26. What a run. Robbins fouled on the floor on Brookins. 20 points for Joe Duty. Now checking in. That is Kyle McDermott. That is McKeel Cooper. And number 22, TJ Schneider. So, plethora of names checking in. Oh, Wilson should have shot that. Joe getting it to the right. Patience. Reverse. Couldn't hit rim. Fight for the rebound. Just padding his stats. Looking, looking. Pick the ball up. They're going to try to bully. Yes. Spin. Pump fake. Finish. Oh! Couldn't get it. Sosa with the rebound. So close. McDermott looking to reach after this, uh, or looking to teach after the reach was fouled anyways by Strong. 
16, 16, uh, well, 16, four, wow, I can't say this properly. 16 minutes, 14 seconds left. Usually I like to say 12, 15 left, but it doesn't roll off the ton right there. 16, 14 left? Yep, not the score. It, the score, after another beautiful spin by McDermott, that one, both attempts do not go, but uh, not the score. The score is 61-26. The Eagles on a wrong side of a 15-0 run. Yeah. Quick mass. No. Oh, they gave him that. <laughs> wow, sir. Hey, sell the yell, baby. Sell the yell. <laughs> That's what, that's what a lot of coaches say. You sell the yellow, you're going to get the call. To McDermott. Now to Cooper. Cooper looking for some. They're going to get to McDermott. McDermott going against McKee Strong. Good defense against that patient post move. Forces the miss. And now the Eagles looking to get something going. Still have not scored yeah, yet. Almost five minutes almost, into this, yeah. this half. And they really haven't turned the ball over that much, have they? Uh, I I have them down for three turno or two turnovers. Make it three. Joe not even gonna try getting Cooper the foul there. With the finish, Keel Cooper make that 17-0 run. Joe said 17-3. Do, do it yourself. Kit has been taken out, and Joe with his first bucket of the ball game. Unfortunately, not able to put a big impact on this game due to foul trouble. Brookings, short pull-up jumper was tipped by Robbins. Good defense. Brookings like, what? I almost got it as he forces a turnover. Cooper, he's just gonna take up the. He's just gonna take the baseline jumper. No good. It was almost tipped tipped in by Walker. They're going for the line. Hey! and Robbins with the jam. That's a man's jam right there. You know exactly what is happening. He gave that up way too early. Yeah, he wanted it. But did you just steal my – did you just say it was still I, my saying? I said it which, was a man's jam. Which, by the way, I took that from the Brooklyn. That's announcer. Okay. My, fa my favorite announcer. As McDermott went to the rack, could not get it to finish, and it's going to stay here. Checking in, number 12, Chris Tom uh, Thompson. Also into the game, number 20, Manny Jinko. And number 14, Quentin Kendricks. I believe that's his first action of the game. And then also for the Eagles is John Seneca. The LP alum, Thompson in the paint. A little bit of a hook. Got away with it. Got the finish. So, Thompson. Uh, fans are not happy. With his second bucket. That was a bucket. beautiful sounding shot. Yeah, Robbins with the three. Cooper. Pass, pass being swan. Schneider for three. That's good. Good defense. By Jingo, and now uh, Colby's got to give it up. He gives it to Seneca. Now they're going to give the ball to uh, Joe with 13 seconds left, but there's a foul on number four. Checking back into the game, Joe Duty or TJ Snyder. Ty Smith checking in for Christian Walker. 68-34, the Eagles have been doubled up so far with 13 minutes left in this game. Joe, taking out the do-it-yourself kit, draws the foul. Coach M wants the best for all of his players. Absolutely. He knows the game. Yeah, he's very intelligent. I like the way he, I know he's a little tough on his players, but I like the way he's, uh, uh, I like the way he's coaching. Yeah. 68-35, make that 36, 13-04 to go here in this game. 
Scott McManus, Mason Lucas, my play-by-play -play tonight. I'm just color. I'm just giving Mason time to breathe because it's kind of been a quick half again. Pace is quick. Yeah. Pace is quick. Fell on Tice. Fan's not happy. This fan might actually get thrown out. Man, first my first free throw good with I Jacob. don't know who wakes up one day and goes, I want to be a ref. <laughs> I know I did because the pay's good. Like the pay's Yeah, excellent. but do you ref like I don't want games? no 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 I don't want to ref constantly, man. I, I can't do it. I don't know how these refs do it. It is it is a absolutely cruel world as Jingo hit both of them, making it seventy to thirty six. I uh, did umpire in the summer. It's and, tough, man. And I umpired seven eight year olds and parents acting like their kids are MLB players. It's like calm down, you know. But He's out. <laughs> Be quiet. Just <laughs> it's you know, it goes from chin to like ankle is your strike zone. Because if not, everything's gonna be a coach pitch. Colby, and one. Uh, update for you. LP loses tonight 65 to 60. Yeah, yeah, we haven't I, really been fond of officiating. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. I I agree. We had a fan come over. I'm just wondering if he was wrong to be yelling at him. <laughs> no, he's right. Yeah, I, I mean, mean there, there hasn't been it hasn't been very good calls. But even even then, you gotta be careful with how you yell at them, right? Though, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I mean, they're still human. Yeah. Jinko missing the layup. It is 70 to 39, 12 minutes left in this game. The Eagles started on the bad side of a 17 to 0 run. And, uh, yeah, it's just I mean, gone downhill. Yeah, since they were then. already down 20, so not what you needed to start the half. As, man, I'm pretty sure Joe was fouled there, but. You would think? I Did he, he just was... bang that off of Kyron Wilson to his player? I think so. That was kind of cool, actually. Not I think lie. that might be their first turnover. Oh! And Colby reciprocates it right back with the Look, turnover. Looking zone. like Aaron Rodgers throwing that. Basketball. Oh, but if he would have completed it, it's Mitch Trubisky, oh, it's right? Oh, Trubisky. Yeah, of course. Oh my God, you're disgusting. I mean, you, Mitch Trubisky. Please don't is listen. I know we're. Hey, I'm a Bears fan. You're a Bears fan. Let's be honest here. Who is the better thrower of the football? I no comment. Exactly. So. That's why I get mad at you guys. It's like, come on now. Oh, I know. I just like, I just like making you mad. Oh, I, I appreciate it. Good ball <laughs> movement gets Brookins a three. I will, you know, uh, I had a friend find some gray hairs in my head, and I'm going to uh, really? accumulate that to you. So the, a uh, bonus for the Eagles is the fact that they will be in the bonus for the rest of the game, 11-24 left in this game down 70 to 39 um buddy i this is a great offensive team uh, i mean the stats have proved uh i know they won their last matchup as john sanica hits that first free throw um let's see here we gotta find john okay there we go. they won their last matchup 93 to 67 against concoria jv team and there's a lane violation on John Seneca, so that second one won't count. So we won't hold it against him. We're going to not put it on the stat sheet. But uh, the Eagles trying to get a little bit of pressure. I don't know if it's a, as, uh, I don't know if it's a full press as like, or just trying to see Kind of more up. of a pr yeah. pressure. It's, it's like a zone with a little bit of pressure. And That's Layla. Man, the three point by Quentin Kendricks is good. His first points of the ball game. And uh, man, this has not been good. He Kobe made. with great patience, but he just couldn't get it to fall. Oh, good hands. John had the hands up. Jan, just didn't see John, it. he tries to split the double team. Please don't tell me that's a foul. <sighs> I. I that's yikes. Yikes. We have a certificate for one free yikes. You've been awarded one yike by the National Committee of Yikes. Oh, man, that is tough. 
Well, Eagles trying to get something rolling here. Brookins. Their star scorer. Can you uh, give me his stat line right now? Uh, he's, he's only got 17. Only? Okay. Oh, or he's got, only got 19. He, he was right around there at halftime, correct? He had 15. Kendricks. Oh, dude! That's goaltending! <laughs> <laughs> Offensive interference. He tried, tried to get up there. I and didn't jam think it. he could get up that high. Woo! He flew in. Coming in for a big time finish. But uh, called for the offensive goaltend. I, I kind of really wish he would have got that. It would have been a man's jam call real quick. Uh, that is Kyle McDermott in for the Bobcats while Raheem McKee Strong back in for the Eagles. Skip pass. Strong going to let fly. Rushed it a little bit. So, you can see in his release. So the ref was kind of mad at the bench over there. I think he's trying to, like, I don't even know what it was. Basically, I'm, I'm guessing it was basically, like, don't stand on the court, stuff like that. Yeah. That'd be my guess because a couple players did walk on. Not a lot, but did. Joe LaShawn's for three. Ugh. Just really has not been able to get on track because of the foul trouble. Yeah. Uh, Joe has five, but that's it. Well, give our man Justin Brookins his 22nd point after the three-point shot. He has seven for the quarter, or seven for the half. And uh, 30. Did the old call us a timeout? I don't no. Uh, it said number 30. Yeah, that's what I said, uh, or that's what I saw. Um, all right, well, we're going to take a quick break. 76 49 26 left in the game. And we are back. Like Mason said, 76 to 40 in favor of the Bobcats. 926 left in the second half. Just great offense by the Bobcats. I really, in, in my opinion, it's just there's nothing Ivy could do right now that would make him this game matter. Yeah, you know, right now I agree with you because it's a 36 point lead. I mean, unless you got Tracy McGrady dropping buckets. Uh, or Joe Pantoa. <laughs> or Joe Pantoa with a quick catch and shoot triple. But uh, you know, uh, for me, I felt, I felt as if we would, if we would have went man, it would have been, because they're just too efficient. This, yeah. this is a well-run team. Zones, zone isn't the way to go. But even against man, oh, that's seems, a push off. Yeah, his hand came way out, and now he got carry. So ball does not lie. Mm -hmm. The ball does not lie. But, uh, he's going to be coming out of the game. But, uh, you know, and I know Ivy's ran a little bit of everything, but you just got to stick with man just because, uh, I mean, this team shoots so well. They've been nailing threes. And, uh, I, you know, for me, it's just, whoa. Hey, he had a white shirt on underneath. Can't wear a uh, different color. Oh, okay. So, uh, McKeel Cooper will check back into the game. Or er, Mikel. I am sorry. So the five for the Eagles, Joe LaShawns, Joel Pantoa, John Seneca, Raheem McKee Strong, and Colby Robbins. Eagles thinking dribble handoff, don't get it. Try to get something going. They got Colby. I think they're going to they're see if they can set something up. Nope. Basing's seven just bad. Seven seconds. Joe takes nice out the take. do-it-himself kit, and he gets his second bucket of the night, his seventh point. Joe lost his shoe, the biggest no-no in all of basketball. You do not lose the shoe. However, the Eagles, never mind, uh, Joe Duty played good defense on that possession. 
it wasn't hurting him until Duty hit the corner three, which with decent, with a decent contest, honestly. Um, how much does Doogie have? He is our leading scorer with 23. So it is Brookins yeah. with 22, Duty with 23, and then a smattering of others. I always love that word, by the way, smattering. Um. Okay. Three. Joe's got to take out the dude himself. Kick with the shot clock and gets the well, roll. Well, Doobie and uh, Brookins combined just before that three were tied with IVCC. IVCC scoring, yeah. yep. The step back. Brookins gave a little yeah. bit of an O oh with it as well. And that will give him his 24th point of the night. Yeah. Do you think the step back's more effective when you put some noise behind it? <laughs> Makes it look cooler. Joe almost with the and one. He's been, uh, I know I've said it quite a bit, but he's been taking out the do-it-himself kid yeah. in this second half. Not hampered by foul trouble. So far, knock on some wood. So I also was going to ask you one more question. Yes, sir. Who's the All-Star Game MVP? Joel Embiid. Okay. The biggest man in the game is mostly because he'll be getting the most minutes since yep. he's a starter. All right, and uh, makes sense. I mean, unless, unless who has a so LeBron has Embiid, or no, LeBron has Cat, right? That's his uh, only LeBron big. is Kyrie. That, no, 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 but LeBron, Cat. but LeBron has Cat on his reserves. So both oh. free throws were good. That's gonna give Joe. Let's see here. 12 on this half alone. But, uh, no, uh, I believe the only big LeBron has is Cat. Okay. Uh, Giannis, Giannis took an all very long approach. And then also a very European approach as yeah. well. So. But LeBron has a much better team. I don't know about that, Chief. With, with okay, his starters are so much better. Who's going to guard him beat? Tell me. Um, <laughs> Jose Sosa for three, no good. That's a good question. <laughs> I don't really know all the rosters. I know that Let's, LeBron has Kyrie, Durant, him, yep. and there's one more that I'm missing that's a bigger Kawhi. Name. Kawhi, yep. Here's here's the reality. If You know Steph would have won that game last year? If Who was in the game if they didn't take him out, take out Joel Embiid for Draymond? Yeah. Steph would have won. Yeah. He literally, literally, Steve Kerr goes, oh, we're going to go with the Warrior defensive lineup. When Joel Embiid was able to switch one through five on defense, lock down every option, and they had absolutely no answer for him. Steph wins that game. Yeah. But instead they went with the 6-8 Draymond Green to protect the rim. Do you know how mad that made me? Embiid had 23-7. and seven. In an all-star game. In an all-star game, and he made it look easy as Joe lets it go for deep for three. No good. John Seneca for the try for the rebound. No good. Yeah. Steph Curry should have won that game. Instead, we had to get, oh, let's go with the Warriors. Warriors. Yeah, look at what that got you. A blown 3-1 lead. Oh, TJ Schneider oh. for three. Well, I'm going to save James Harden on a side note. I just think James Harden is just going to go no, off. I, it's in Charlotte, so either... I mean, it could be a staff too. It's either, I, you know, for me, if, if Embiid wasn't the only big as a starter, it would either be Steph or it would be Kemba because usually the hometown guy tries to get the MVP. But with Embiid being bigger than everybody, yeah. who, I mean, I expect him to have like 30 and 15 with ease. <laughs> He's going to have a lot. Like, it, especially if they try to play it, play it legit as uh, John Seneca misses the first three throw. Which we both know won't happen well, until five I mean, minutes left. Yeah, in the but you know, what I mean, you know, what I mean, it's just like, mm -hmm. it's it's not. As John misses both, Joel Pantoja with the rebound tries to put it over Schneider, but Schneider's just too big to stay straight up and down and blocked it. That is Collins with pushing the pace. McDermott, oh, stuffed. Hi. <laughs> John Seneca, what a block, rising up at the rim and saying, no, no, no. Christian Walker will take him after a great block. 
John's a workhorse. He's going to give you his max effort all the time. Collins trying to get to the middle of the lane. He's going to step it back. Three-pointer is good for Collins. DeMarco Collins with the triple. Joel looking to set things up. Going to use a pick and roll with Raheem. I'm just trying to watch this John Seneca block. But we're <laughs> so far behind. Christian backing it out. Finds Raheem. Shit. Uh, well, I'm not going to be able to see it. That's okay. Nice take. Nice take by Raheem. You can't see it. The thing's oh. over. Well, you missed the block anyways, the timing. Any, any it, of it. it happens. So, What happens when I'm on Twitter? Raheem will go to the line for two. Buddy, yeah, it's it's a tough night. Third night of a back to back to back against uh, a very, 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 very good, good team. <laughs> Both teams were very solid for the men and women. Um, there's not a lot you can do. I, I, I don't. I think me and you have agreed. We don't think they played too bad of a game. No, we just, you know. As team. Raheem hits yeah. the second. This is a good team, you know? Yeah. 87-54, 430 left in this game. Oh, DeMarco oh, Collins no. feeling himself. Oh, thank God. Up to Walker. Walker Short. with a pull-up jumper. Short, as you noted. That is Quinton Kendricks running. He turns it over. They're going to look for Connor Wilson on three. Defended well. Kendricks keeping it here. I feel like we haven't said this in a while. 87-54 in favor of the Bobcat. Bob Katz. You're close. Wilson oh. landing fly for three. Connor Wilson. 30 point game. With the triple, that is his first bucket of the second half. That is a nice move. beautiful move and reverse by Mikel Cooper. Now, is Mikel Bridges a certified lefty? Mikel Bridges? Oh, never Miles. Mind. Miles. I was Miles. thinking of Miles. Yeah. Mm, He's left handed. Yeah, Miles is a lefty. I know that for a fact. Raheem got the three to fall. A little bit of a toilet ball, but he got it. Four points in this half. 60 to 89, uh, you know, as the Bobcats still running beautiful sets. Ran an elevator play there. Just didn't work out as there was a turnover. Christian Walker got to the line 4-2. 255 left in this game. I like how their coach is still coaching. He is not giving up, even up 29. Yeah. That's a coach right there. Walker misses the first. 255 left. Just one of those games. And the second is good. That's his third point of the game, first of the second half. I think 23 got away with a little bit of a a little bit of hand checking, but instead they gave it to Walker. Oh boy, Raheem got Raheem. away with a push. <laughs> I, hey. hey, 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 shh, shh. Yep. Nice pass inside. Christian nice playing some bully ball gets his first field goal of the half. Well, 89-63, two minutes left in this game. Yeah, 
He's pulling. Connor Wilson. Landed no fly, no good. The Bobcats are on their way up. That's a three. And wow. One. Should have been an and one. TJ Schneider. Beautiful so, looking so bucket. Who, who, who ended up leading? Was it Doody or was it? Um, I believe it's Doody. Okay. Wow. It's close. Brookins didn't get him. As Walker. Walker is just, he's just racking up some points at this point. 92-65. Might as well. Boost that save sheet. Uh, let's see here. 9-23 against 20. Not tw uh, uh, that is uh, Justin Brookins with the leading. I said by Joel. Leading bucket getter for the game. Joe Pantoa adding to his scoring total with another three. DeMarco Collins trying to get some As people saw in the crowd, even though he really didn't go anywhere. Kyle McDermott lowered the shoulder, calling the offensive. Smith with the jumper. It's good. Tyus gets his first points of the game. And they're just going to dribble out as much as possible. They might yep. get another bucket here. There's a 10 second difference, so try to do the gentleman's courtesy. 92 no, he's 70. Just, he's just trying to break them. Um, now it goes with a floater. Didn't even touch rim, so. Tyus leading the break. Dropping it off to Wilson. Wilson going to let it fly for three. No hesitation. And yeah. that. Yeah, that'll do it. We'll do it. Yep. 92 to 70, the final from the Eagles' nest. Uh, the men fall in this one by 22. Uh, women fell in the earlier game. Give me a second. Women fell in the earlier game, 83 to 60. So both teams losing by 20 in this third game of a back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back. We're going to take a quick break and get some official stats, and we'll be right back. So the final score tonight, 92-70 in favor of the Bobcats. Um, some scoring. Let me get their names first. Oh, Just my bad. I you, probably should have gave you, you one. Good, good. <laughs> so that's the girls' side. So Brookins led the game with 24. Followed right behind him is Joe Dooley with 23. And after that, scoring by Jinko with 12. And then, you know, 
people after. We'll just yeah show the bigger ones. For the Eagles, led by Colby Robbins with 19. Right behind him is Joel LaChance with 12. And then um, Joel Pantoja with 9. Kyron Wilson with 9. Um, so as you all know, this is actually Mason's last game in the Eagles' nest. He won't be here next Friday. So this is his last one. This is his sophomore night. Yeah. I'm just going to let you shine. Oh, right yeah? here, I'm yeah, gonna let Cleo, you. Yeah, the Cleo Mack jersey. I'm gonna yeah, let no, you I, say uh, whatever. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, I, I, uh, it's been a fun three years doing this. Uh, uh, this has been, I love basketball, uh, so it has been an absolute pleasure, through all the good games and all the bads to yeah. bad to be here and broadcast. I've always had a great time here, back when me and Ty, Tyler and Aaron started it three years ago. Um, I was able to stay an extra year and able to do this and I, I couldn't be more grateful for it uh, I'll be able to move on and hopefully continue to do this more at Bradley but uh, so Bradley future plans Brad, Bradley's a future okay uh, I and also I want to throw a quick shout out to Gary Telski and uh, Lori Chano uh, without their help there's no way we could do this um, without the fan support there's no way we could do this we always I always appreciated how many people we got whether it was just a simple five or I think the best game I've ever brought been a part of was 45. So, you yeah. know, um, I couldn't be more grateful. And um, thank you so much mm -hmm. for letting me do this for three years. So next Friday we will be broadcasting. Mm -hmm. yep. Mason won't be here, obviously. But and it will be Jacob Steinberg's last me, game yeah, and, and your mine. last game. Yeah. So I'm only a freshman, but it hey, is, we still count it it. is my still last count game. I, I decided to show a little bit of heart tonight all right <laughs> i must give it to mason because if it wasn't for mason and steiny i would not be here right mm -hmm. now and it was mainly a lot of steiny who oh. recruited me into this but mason also played a big part in this as well and as I, much I, as i, I do, give I him do, I as do much as i give him crap about him being co-president he's let's be honest steiny i'm sorry i'm gonna give it mason's our president yeah I, i've never <laughs> never attended one meeting for ivy leaguer but here i am still yes. a part of the group yes so mason i do most of the scheduling this it's, is your last time hey been a pleasure buddy you enjoy next week oh, yeah. i will go so, ahead and sign us off all righty well again the double header on our third game of a back to back to back uh lady eagles fall uh 82 62 the men fall what's the final score again i want to make sure i get it right 92 to 70 92 to 70 uh one final time from the Eagles Nest for me. Scotty, we'll see you next Friday against South Suburban, doubleheader at home. We're peacing out from the Eagles Nest. Have a great night.